Hi, this is Neil Asher from the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, where we help people right here in Australia start their own business selling things on Amazon right around the world. We've got over 2,000 members with sales of over $50 million. You can find out more by going to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. Does Amazon consolidate reviews across all their markets? In this video, you're going to find out. Ooh, here's something you may not be aware of. Is this. Uh, this is brand new. This is spankly new. So I had a mate of mine um, contact me over the weekend in an utter, utter panic. He sells on Amazon. He is a uh, eight-figure seller on Amazon, um, doing very, very well. His business is a 15 or 16 million, something like that. Anyway, so he contacts me and he was like, what the fuck is going on? Um, I just lost a shitload of reviews in this particular marketplace where he's playing in, okay? And so uh, we jumped on a call, we looked at his listing, um, I then looked at some of my listings, I then checked out some of my other friends' listings, and here's what going on. So, it was the case that Amazon would port your reviews from one marketplace to another, okay? Meaning, if you decided, if this was your product, and you had 70,000 ratings, and then you decided to sell that product in Australia, then you would have your product in Australia with 70,000 reviews, okay? That was the case. That is no longer the case. It's changed. Over the weekend, as far as I can friggin' tell. So, let's just show you. So, 70,000 ratings. Let's go look at this same product now in the UK. 62 ratings. Let me tell you, that was at 70,000 ratings. So, they have lost the vast majority of their ratings and reviews. Boom, like that, overnight. And now all they've got is the ratings that have been created from sales in the UK for this particular listing. Okay, let me show you some more. So, so you see, so that was what? 62 ratings. Let me show you another one. I happen to know that these people sell in this marketplace too. So here's their product in Germany, which was at 70,000 ratings and now is at 18 ratings <laughs> which is just insane can you imagine how they would have felt going from 70,000 reviews to 18 reviews it's happened with my brands too okay so I'm, I'm laughing and taking the piss out of these guys but um it's happened with my brands too you should check your check yours as well because as far as i can tell that's being rolled out now you can argue that that is absolutely freaking horrendous. Or you could say, well, that is bloody beauty because um, these products that have been listed in the US of A and where all the attention has been focused to rank them and get reviews in the USA, that's done now. Because as soon as they go outside of the U USA, they have to start again. Meaning, if you're selling in Australia, I wonder if these guys sell in Australia. If you're selling in Australia, then you're back on a level playing field. You haven't got to worry about somebody coming into the market with 72,000 ratings going into the marketplace. Yeah, You haven't got to worry about that anymore. I think for new sellers, this is bloody awesome news. For old sellers, this is terrible news. So depending on where you're at in your journey, that is a massive opportunity or a complete head screw up. <laughs> I just thought that's kind of cool. So the other thing that begs the question as well is, um, what now is the point of getting global selling? 
And the answer to that is, I don't know right now. I Because it was always the case that global selling was awesome because it ported your reviews around into other marketplaces and made that process super, super easy. Now, what is the point? Well, I really don't know. I, I am struggling to see what the good point would be. That was a video taken from my live weekly Q&A with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. If you'd like to find out more about joining the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, go to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. It helps heaps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.